so it is currently 97 degrees outside and I've decided to quilt in the garage. Earlier today it was 106. I'm not sure what the heat index was, but it is hot. So I am also going to custom quilt a quilt. Can I get it done in a week? Let's find out. Jack's chain circles and this was a bunch of Y seams this needs to be ironed it needs to be loaded I have no idea how I'm gonna quilt this but this is one of my UFOs I've got to get it done I'm tired of it being in the queue of working on it and not working on it and this was originally a Sandy Gervais line from several years ago I'm thinking 2018 and this is going to be the backing print, which is in the fat quarter bundle on the front. So thread selection, because it's humid outside, even though the air conditioner's running, I am sweating in here because of the humidity. I am going to go ahead and opt to choose King Tut 100% cotton thread just because polyester, when it gets humid, it stretches and every bobbin I load has massive tension nightmares. And so we're going to see how this does. This is uh, Mummy Dearest, spelled M-U-M-M-Y apostrophe S Dearest. And you can see the subtle uh, pastel colors, which... It'll, it'll look fine on this. I'm not going to go spend money on thread. I've got a whole thing of thread. I will make it work. Okay, found my scissors. They were down there where I cut the back. This is what I hate about the long arm because I'm not wearing my apron. Things get carried to the other side. And then I forget them over there and then have to double work myself to get back over there and get my scissors. Somewhere, somehow, I have walked into a spider web. This is not going well. circles, all my half circles, and I got my um, VersaTool. I wanted to see which would get the best arc within the nine patch. And it looks like I'm going to get the best arc out of this one. It'll get a nice fat arc. But now, because this makes circles, and you can see the, the big circle right here. Follow it, it kind of goes up and around like this. Because it makes that big circle, I kind of want to follow that pattern. So the eye's already going to go to that pattern on the quilt top. So I want to accentuate it with this. So I think I'm going to go from corner to corner on each one of the nine patches for now, quilt it out like that, and then maybe go back and quilt in the negative space. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the Versa tool is perfect from edge to edge, but not down the middle, it's too fat. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out my five inch circle and I'm gonna quilt melons or orange peels and make a crisscross with them. And that's how I'm gonna quilt this. Okay, so now my next conundrum. I just stitched out this melon and this melon, but I kind of painted myself back into the corner. So I've got to figure out how to do a continuous quilt, quilting uh, thread while doing this. 
this and I'm not. I guess I need to just scallop and maybe scallop from here to there with the versatile. Okay, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Change of plans. Gosh. ways instead of trying to go around one circle I can try and go down linear so that's what I'll do. Okay so I just had to move my car which is maybe 20 feet that way and had to get in the hot car and now I'm just sweating. <laughs> it's so hot. Okay I have gotten a rhythm um, only to probably quit. That's the trouble with me quilting in the evenings. I get a rhythm and then I have to stop and take care of myself by going to bed at a decent time and not totally wearing myself out. But pretty much you can almost make a full circle. Uh, well, actually you can and then travel back. And then when you, I get to the edges, I have to like stitch on the very edge and then I can travel back with the opposite melons. Um, I like the fact that this triangle is getting filled with like a leaf. Uh, I'm not doing anything on this one. I think that'd be too much. I've got to figure out how I'm going to quilt this. Let me know in the comment section how you think I should quilt this part. Okay, so I have been quilting this and loading it and getting my machine prepped for the actual quilting. And I have spent an hour and 20 minutes. I've got one pass done tomorrow. If I'm able to have the energy to come down and do this, um, I'm hoping to work another hour on it. But I still, my goal is to get this done within a week in the heat. Uh, keep on watching because there's more to come. Okay, so I have quilted. It is still 97 degrees outside and it is 8.30. Um, tomorrow, overnight, it's supposed to only drop down into the 80s. It's not supposed to get in the 70s, so tomorrow will be even hotter. And I think the heat index is supposed to be 106 or something tomorrow. I'm going to attempt, this is the end of day one, and I'm going to attempt to do uh, day two of quilting. If I can get a pass a day, I'm not sure how many rows are in it. Um, I'm not sure that'll even make my goal, but we'll see if I can get to my goal. So I've just gotten up and gotten ready. I'm fixing to go to work at six o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm not feeling it today. I am tired. We'll see how today goes. Sometimes the work day is pretty physical and I just I can't I can't quilt because I'm bankrupt physically some days it's mental <laughs> some days I just want to come home and vegetate so we'll see how today goes okay I just got off work my thermostat on my car says 107 I don't know what the heat index is I do know that I have worked my butt off today I've been on my feet all day I've turned a wrench all day. Uh, you can say that I'm tired. I'm not sure how my commute will go on the way home. I have an hour to sit and relax and sometimes when I do that I get super relaxed so um, we'll see. I, I do have some exciting news. I just got called by the Chamber of Commerce for a quilt hop and they were asking questions about how many quilts I was going to have so um, that's a positive. That was a nice way to end the day as I was walking out of my job. So more to come.
Okay, so I'm in the garage. Um, today's not going as smoothly because I don't have the edge to travel on. So I have a bunch of starts and stops. Um, I don't like that, but if I had a, a wider uh, harp space on my machine, I'd be able to travel farther to the belly bar and probably eliminate that, but I don't. And I also probably could eliminate that if I figured out what I wanted in the center hexagons. I haven't figured that out quite yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and I've made a couple, I've made three circles, started the fourth one in a row. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing before the sun gets too bright out from the uh, west facing window. It's very hot in here. So, let's see. And this is the one I'm going to be doing. Move in and try and position. Yeah, I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see. Okay, we're gonna try. Um, so this is my dead end, so I'm gonna start there and see where we end up. I just presume my parent, one of my parents will come visit while I've got this going. It never fails they do, but the heat may be keeping them inside. So I'm getting confused also because I'm using two circle rulers and so sometimes I grab the wrong one and because they're both clear, I can't find them on the quilt. If y'all are new to long arming, when you buy your templates, get them orange or fluorescent colored so they will show up on your uh, quilt whenever you're quilting. Uh, it's easier to find and grab. These are see-through. You can't see see through. <laughs> okay, do I go up here? Okay, yes. I'm gonna travel to the next one and then on the way back, travel back. I have the other half of this to crisscross. And let's see if I can show you that. Same uh, quilting template, just going in the cross fashion of what I just quilted. So these two are done, so I'm gonna start right here. And I wish I had like a GoPro so that I could mount it to my machine so everyone could see what I was doing. And my thread broke. 
My thread's broke three times today already. In the few minutes that I've been quilting, so I'm not even going to cut my bottom thread. I'm just going to start over. And I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I assume it's my needle. I have a new needle. motion you forget to do one and you don't realize it till after you've loaded you've taken the, the quilt off the frame I consider that a design option and I just leave it Too bad. Um, I have for every one of these I have to break thread twice. Well, I have to bring up thread twice, um, and that time I actually broke thread, so that one cost me a little bit more th in thread. But thread is very relatively inexpensive, so I'm not going to complain. And that's how we do it. Let me get a picture of this so you can see. Incidentally, yesterday, you know, I got real thirsty. I do have water in the garage, but it's hot. I suppose I could drink, if I really needed to, I could drink the water out of my iron. That would make a hilarious short video. Drinking water from my iron on a hot day. <laughs> So I have made one and a half passes and I am really, really hot. Uh, I have a fur coat on my head and it is drenched. My body is drenched in sweat. Um, the air conditioner, it is working, but the humidity in here, it's just when you quilt, it's work and as it should I'm getting a workout. I'm sweating out all my toxins. Um, I could probably listen to music and call it sweating to the oldies because let me tell you, I'm sweating. Um, yeah, it's hot. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is now. I have a little bit more to go and then I'm going to call it quits. But one, two, three, four. I have four more passes to make before I decide what to put inside the hexagons. And maybe I just put one great big uh, circle or something. So I could use the four and, a half four and a half inch circle and just go around it inside and be done with it. I'm not real sure. I kind of like how they're popping off the quilt after I've quilted it. But they definitely need to be quilted because my batting states every four inches you need something. So I can't leave it open otherwise it will deteriorate when I wash it. Um, so I will take a picture here in a minute when I'm done. Alright, it's coming. It's coming along. Lots of sweat involved, but it's coming along. Um, I'm hoping that I need to take a picture of this and see if it pops out what I'm trying to capture. Okay, so I'm looking at this and this is what I'm wanting to capture. I'm wanting to capture this great big circle. And it's working. 
and that will enhance the circle. Um, you can kind of see it, although this part's not quilted yet. I can see it. Yep. Uh, I'm really excited to get this off frame to see what it looks like. But still, what do I do here?